Let's understand what is an equivalent fraction with the help of an example. What is the fraction of the red ball in the image? 1 by 2, right? Because one part out of two parts is red. How about this? Isn't it 2 by 4? Because two parts out of four parts are red. So what difference do you see between these two arrangements? There is no difference. Because the number of total balls and the number of red balls are the same. Does that mean, the fraction is also the same? Yes, obviously. These two fractions are called equivalent fractions. Because they represent the same part of the whole. You can easily find out the equivalent fractions by multiplying or dividing by the same number in the numerator and denominator. For example, to find out an equivalent fraction of 1 by 2, you can multiply numerator and denominator by 2. Hence 2 by 4 is the equivalent fraction of 1 by 2. Similarly, to find the equivalent fraction of 3 by 6, just divide numerator and denominator by the same number, 3. The equivalent fraction of 3 by 6 is 1 by 2. To check if two fractions are equivalent or not, we can use the cross product. We know that 1 by 2 and 2 by 4 are the equivalent fractions. How about 2 by 9 and 4 by 18? Let's use the cross product and check. Multiply the numerator of the first fraction with the denominator of the second fraction. Similarly, multiply the denominator of the first fraction with the numerator of the second fraction. The cross products are the same. Hence the fractions are equivalent fractions. How about 1 by 3 and 2 by 7? Let's check. Multiply 1 and 7. The product is 7. Then multiply 2 and 3. The product is 6. Cross products are not equal. Hence, 1 by 3 and 2 by 7 are not equivalent fractions.